All right, everybody, we are back. Give me just a sec here. Okay, now we're back. Pardon me. So, from last time, I made a few adjustments that I hope are going to help me deal with this boss a little better. And to start, let's take a look at Lynx. You will notice that I did some pretty major things to his grid. First of all, I replaced all of his level 1 spells except for the two Eagle Eyes with High Res. Which will give him some more defense, which should hopefully mean that I don't spend a lot of downtime just, oh, defend after he uses Thunderstorm, basically, and try to not get murdered, because that's a bit of a pain in the butt, and I don't think it'll necessarily work out too well. Over here, instead of having status removal for Sprain, I had an idea. Why don't we just give it to him? I don't know if it'll work, but we'll find out. Revenge. This is a black innate only element that I have never used before, I don't think. So I don't know if this is going to work out very well. This is actually my first time doing this, so yeah. And then, of course, the rest of it is all exactly the same as normal. Although, I feel like perhaps I should change that. Yeah, we're going to remove the Earthquake. And we're going to put the Thunderstorm Trap elements on Lynx. It'll give him something to do once in a while. And yeah. So, Norris is unchanged. But... Norris does have one very important thing going on that I want to point out, and that is negate physical. Fargo is also unchanged, by the way. I haven't done anything to Fargo. I haven't even changed his equipment. Norris, however, I have removed two of his things and given him two Dreamer's bandanas. This should give him a... 2 MP, to, he should give 2 elements to start with, so he should be able to get to Fizz Negate much easier. Which is basically all he's gonna do. He's gonna cast Fizz Negate on Lynx and then get blowed up. Fargo will try to do anything if he can. Probably won't. I also finally remember to get Lynx a stone helmet. Because I didn't do that before. And as you can see, this changing things has tanked our gold significantly. Oh yeah, and just to show, I guess, yeah, Fargo has not changed whatsoever. Because, honestly, he doesn't have a whole lot that he can do aside from, oh, maybe he could throw out an Earthquake Trap, or if he gets a chance, I'll try to have him pillage. However, I don't think there's anything of note to steal from this dude. We may find out otherwise. But for now... Let's go and wrestle with this thing real quick. And by real quick, I mean it's got 13,000 HP, so we might be here for a little bit, even with copious amounts of speed up being used. And goodness knows there will be a lot of that. Guy drops down and he's like, ah, check out my shoulders! Mmm, yes! And taunt us a bunch and blah blah blah. Bingo bango bongo. And he wants to fight us. Blah blah blah. He taunts us in Latin and dumbness wobiscum. I I can't even say it properly. I I practiced before stream and I can't say it. Dominus wobiscum et cum spiritu tuo. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say, which is like a prayer of some description. You can tell that I'm not a religious person because that's all I've got for you is. Oh, it's some kind of prayer. Her, her. Yeah. Real fucking useful, ain't I? Alright, and he follows this up with Thunderstorm, so. That's gonna be nobody getting to do anything except for Lynx. Alright. Go get him, Lynx. Whoop his butt. That's not whooping his butt!
But hey, no sprain for us, so we get to just do some of this. Haha, <laughs> nice whiff. And now is when we throw down the Thunderstorm Trap. This is going to be a good time to make sure that we grab it, because, like, he should have several turns of being completely worthless. As opposed to just mostly. Yoink! And throw down another one immediately. Incidentally, I have no earthly idea how long Fisnegate is going to last, so I... It may be gone already. God, I hope not, but... You know. Well... I mean... Eagle Eye is still kicking. Oh, that's a good camera angle. We can see right inside the ground. That's some good clipping. Ta-da! You know what? Let's do it again! Ouch! Yeah, so that's... As Sonic says, that's no good. Alright, so let's throw on a high res and see if we can... Hopefully not get murked for this. Oh god! Yeah, okay, that's useless! Holy shit! Thanks a lot, dude. Um, That's unfortunate. Uh, where, where's my reset? Can I just, like... Yeah, there isn't really a fast reset option for some reason. Yeah, so um, those high-res elements are not of any value to us. That's real great. Um, oh, boy. Well, we're going to try... We're going to try to just do this... You yeah, know, the other way. And basically, we attack after Earthquake and then block from then on. It's... It's gonna not be great. That's all. That's all there is to say here. No, sir, I don't like it. Your mother. All right, Fargo, can you land a three? Atta boy. All right, now steal his lunch and his lunch money. Still a Denodorite. Okay, so that's not very. That is not very prudent. We'll put it that way. If we want Fargo to do anything, I guess. Setting up Eagle Eye would probably be best. I mean, you are right. Oh, also, I forgot to save the Thunderstorm traps on there. Whoops. Well, that's okay. It's probably for the best if we don't try... Uh, ...fucking around with that, because that's going to take away from our turns of healing. No, I haven't. It's... <laughs> it's a fight, that's for sure. 
All right, so let's try this out. Let's see if the game is accounting for any of my strategic ideas here. Revenge. Hmm, I don't get C yet. However, our sprain is gone, so there's that? Cat versus cat never ends. <laughs> You're not wrong, I I would imagine. Yeah, so that didn't get that didn't sprain it, but I think it got rid of our sprain at least, so that's interesting. But also, man, fuck this game sometimes. Cut cut the crap, dude. Come on. I got a few more turns of Eagle Eye. Stop being a Stop being such a lord of butts. Defend. Cut it out! Why don't ya? You fucking chode! Oh my god. Ugh. This is the worst. Give me a faster reset than just having to sit here through this. Come on. Game. All right, well, um... We're going to go for the safest strategies possible, I guess. Exploding means you didn't die. I mean, I guess so, yeah. I feel like that's the equivalent of this thing just going mediocre. I think get good is a strategy. I mean, if you ask the the Dark Souls community, yes, it is. But why would you ask them anything? All right, now here comes the piss. By that, I mean all the yellow damaging elements, apparently. Oh, God damn it! Link's got sprain. All strats viable. Does that include going and personally fighting the CEO of Square Enix on the Field of Honor? Because I'll totally do it. All right, well, that gets rid of our sprain, so at least we got a couple of turns where we can whack this dude in the face a bit. I I feel like you've said that one before, Irene. Give it the thunderstorm. Yeah, thank you, Surge. It's okay, everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Such as when they watch this stream. Wait. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This attack pattern, I... I'm unsure if it's Thunderstorm... No, it's just... It appears to just be fucking random! Like, oh, I'll do a certain number of attacks at random, and then I'll decide whether or not I want to you know, absolutely fuck your life up. What a charming individual. All right, so I guess we're gonna try and play this safely-ish, because it looks like we can make this work. And this, in this case, also involves Link's getting... going blind at random, pardon me. 
Alright, just defend. Come on, use actual magic. Get... Get... Come on. Compare die for this. Uh oh, you gotta remind me that I don't fucked up. Come on. Alright, so he's gonna earthquake after this for sure, right? So I got a free turn to did not play smartly, basically. And then I get some free stamina with which to whiff. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, I, I almost called him Professor Burns. That, that tells you that I don't have a good attention span. Defense. Yeah, see, this seems to be working so far. Of course, if Lynx could get out of fucking XCOM and remember what game he's in, it might work a little better. I mean, also, if this sprain could go away sometime, this millennium, this fight would go a lot faster. But I digest. Hey, buddy, do you want this status effect? Well, take it anyway, because I don't. In before I just get it right. Yep! Shouldn't even have started to open my mouth, because god damn it. This was such a mistake. But I was like, oh hey, this is a really good item. What if I was just trying to pretend to be clever and get this? And now I'm the one who looks like an asshole. More than usual. Plastic Allen sending me a raid. How is it going, Chief? I hope you're doing... I mean, I caught part of that game you were playing, Razor Renaissance. It seemed like you were doing pretty good. So, I mean, the, the downside is that you're playing yet another questionable remake of a game by Square Enix. But otherwise, it seemed like it, everything was okay. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Remember to put spaces in your cat jams, otherwise the AI goes, Ugh! It's slowly getting better, you think. Eh, fair enough. Oh, okay, so we're getting sound for one of our notifications, but we're not getting the graphics, and we're getting the sound effects uh, way late. I'm genuinely curious if for some reason Streamlabs, even though I'm no longer using their service, is causing the notifications to proc. Because I had the same thing go on yesterday where I had the sound from a sub, but not the visual notification. And of course, I don't have Streamlabs displayed on here. Why would I do that? I, I don't use it anymore. But my notifications still exist on Streamlabs website and I went to go try handling that last night or something, and they don't just have a delete account function, which, like, you know, that strikes me as a little bit questionable if your website doesn't have an ability to just delete an account, but, I mean, maybe that's just me. 
Anyway, what are we doing? Like 100 damage on those five stamina turns? This is only going to take like 100 turns to, for us to get these sunglasses. Be a dick. There we go. Squeaky sequels of a bear trap. I'm still la quietly laughing about Lethal's Squeaky sequels of a better track record. Oh boy. You know, there's. There are definitely a lot that are pretty questionable. Um. But at the very least. None of the video games are that Final Fantasy X novel. So, I gotta give him a couple of points there? Question mark? Okay, wow, dude, I don't know where the fuck we are in the pattern anymore. Oh yeah, you remember the... You remember hearing about that nightmare, don't you, Tav? Mm. In fact, you're probably the one who told me about it, so... That's what we like to call really not a good time. Yeah, that'll fix all the problems, right? Also, I've noticed we're rigid. Oh god damn it! I hit. I hit run away instead of defend. Uh, time to reload. Yeah, thanks for telling me about the spraying game. I know the one that I was stuck with the whole fight. Well, it's okay. Y'all get to see this from the top. I could actually just go grab a calculator and be like, hey, how long is this taking HP-wise? If I really wanted to. But... I don't think I'm gonna do that. Anywho, uh... God, you guys made me forget what I was gonna say. What? No gravy? Wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly descend more and more into madness as I go. As if I'm not already there, right? Thanks, didn't need the fucking help, buddy. What was butt? As the party proceeds to get rocked and shocked. Alright, do I have enough time to... Just dump this? Please? Please? Oh no, he's... Oh right, I forgot. We're... We have Fizz Negate on, so yes, we do. Alright, so at least we get a couple of turns of 600 damage. And by that, I mean, wow, way to recover only two stamina links. Taking a catnap. A fine small cucumber preserved in vinegar brine or a similar solution. <laughs> oh my god, you really are just on fire. This is not a spoiler for what I'm going to do to you if I ever meet you in person, by the way. I know I say things like that all the time, but I... ...don't usually mean it. Oh boy, well... Let's defend. 
Oh, okay. I could have actually done it safely that time. Well, whoopty shit. Look at me. I'm being an idiot. Wow. I can't believe I feel dumber right now than I did when I ran away from this fight when I was half done with it. Yeah, I figured that was going to whiff. 72%. Blinks can't make that hit. Alright, I don't trust this dude to not... Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I don't trust this dude to not go on the offense. Alright, come on. Yeah, actually use your magic, you dick. There we go. You dick! Wait. Alright. <laughs> okay, here comes the earthquake. Please no sprain. Please no sprain. I suppose I could, in theory, make that a little bit easier by equipping the Star Fragment, but then I'm losing out on either some of my attack or some of my defense. And I'm not particularly fond of doing either of those. <laughs> oh god, Bubsy voice. <laughs> uh, I need to get the Bubsy and the Trash Candy boat in here, I guess. All right, so this is absolutely a slap and defend moment here. As it uses the try attack on me. Better than the try hard attack, I guess. I have no idea what that is referring to, Irene. Is that something from, like, One Piece or something like that? Because I remember that there was a brief period, of course, when One Piece was uh, handled by four kids. A brief, strange period that was. Oh, right! Right, 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 right. Gazelle Man. Good name. Though, I mean, Deke Deke Van... <laughs> I, I assume it's supposed to be Deke Deke Van Dyke is, <laughs> is what it is, but uh, that's pretty good, too. Fen, and here's gonna come the the both, uh, the, the two magics. And me looking like a fool for defending. But at the very least, we're a fool with full HP. Oh, it's all dicks. Oh, oh right, because... Call, call him Antelope Man. Incidentally, I don't know what's causing us to regen while we are... Is that an effect of the, the Master Mune that we're regenerating for every one point of stamina that we spend? Because if so, I mean, that's neat. Alright. Now. Let's throw this away. Just in time for us to probably get hit with it again. And here it comes. And, wow, no sprain. Game's taking pity on my stupid ass for a second here. 
And here comes another one, so we're probably going to get it now, right? Yep, the sprain came back. I think there's a an item that we could use to prevent that if I was not forgetful. Unfortunately, well, anyone who's ever listened to me try to speak will will know how that is. God damn it, Lynx. Lynx, do me a favor and don't get fucking murdered, okay? Can you do that for me? Yeah, thank, thank goodness. Uh, I think maybe it's like a max of three physical turns in a row, but I don't really want to test that too much. All right, come on. Let me get at least one turn where I can just lay into this thing with my full power. And by one turn, I mean, please let it be a little more than that. But no, nope, nothing doing. God damn. This whole idea was a fucking mistake, by the way. I feel like <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. Ah, yes, good. Just waste more of my time. I'm glad this is going to take up the entire stream, by the way. This is... This is what I deserve, and frankly, this is what the rest of you deserve. Okay, fine. That's a little mean, but... Also... I... This may or may not have put me in a slight mood. If you never asked. That's okay. Nope. Nobody did. Thank you for the subscription, Abysmal Dream. And how are you doing? And how's Zephyrium doing today? I hope everybody is doing well as usual. <laughs> it definitely seems like people usually do well around here. Alive, you suppose. Oh, boy. That doesn't sound good at all. Mm. Oh, why did I... Why did I waste that one stamina point on defending? I could have wasted it on trying to cast Revenge and have it not work. Because I just get sprained the next turn. Doing well? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Your default state of being. Yeah, what? Well, that's fair enough. You started recently on, I think it's Trek to Yomi is what it's called, over on YouTube. I hope, I hope that's fun. I'll watch that eventually when I remember to. Which means it might be a couple of years, because I'm very forgetful. <laughs> okay, that's slightly overdoing it, but it, I'll, I'll definitely watch it at some point, but it's like, well... This fair warning that I am forgetful. I forgot what else I was going to say, even. Wow, this guy's really pushing it right now. Alright. Defend. I think this is a safe turn, but still. Let's not take any risks, because I'm pretty deep into this fight by now. At least I should be. Remember, 13,000 HP. Which... Sounds like a lot, because it is, but we're doing around 200 a turn, even while sprained. So that's, what, 65 to 60 turns that we have to deal with this, provided we get all our hits in? Well, it, it's, it's a wide range, we'll put it that way, because the amount could be anywhere. I don't know how well we're doing at any given point in this fight. It's fucked up. <laughs> Simple, but ultimately decent. I'm glad to hear that. 
you know, that's about as much as you can ask for in a game, is ultimately decent. Yeah, wow, we only recovered two stamina before that attack. We've... Admittedly, we're, we're both pushing this a little bit. I should probably be going down to defend instead of up, because I ran away that one time like a clown. Two stamina. Guard. Alright, here we go. Here's our... Here's our heal turn. Please, God, let this stay safe. Yeah, okay. So, this is where we can just burn our entire meter. And, of course, we can start missing a lot of attacks all at once. Great job, Lynx. Just like any household cat... Link's pretty much just exists to break our spirit. I mean, what the fuck were those last two turns? <laughs> Nothing happened almost. Can't believe you didn't just whiff on every attack in the one turn where I spent my entire seven stamina just to really upset me. Truly the Bubsy of Chrono Cross. <laughs> that seems a little bit mean. Oh, hey, I'll I'll still defend, like... I don't know... A third of the Bubsy franchise? Sits here having to do math about number of games in Bubsy. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... It, it is, indeed, six real games... And I'd say that the first two are acceptable. If we discount things like the, you know, the weird Game Boy port of Bubsy 2, which is not great. Then, you know, that... That's... Well, why would you play a Game Boy port of a game that's not an NES game, basically? Because any of those are... Actually, that's not true. There's a couple of... There's a couple of Game Boy games that are basically ports-ish of later games that are pretty good. Like, I think that the uh, the Game Boy Color version of Quest 64, which is called, like, Quest RPG or something, because somebody didn't really have a good idea for a name over at Imagineer. Unfortunately, not living up to their company's name. And... They, they just were like, okay, let's let's throw a name on this, because we don't know what to call it. I believe that's actually, like, a halfway decent game. Or at least people certainly like it better than the N64 game. Which I gotta admit, if you can sneak the basic gameplay of that into a Game Boy Color, it's a lot more impressive than sneaking it onto an N64, in theory. God, we're getting real tight here. Miss 64. Yeah, a little bit, eh? A little bit, to say the least. Um, so anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I actually think the first two Bubsy games are... Your life isn't going to be made worse by not playing them, but they are real games. We'll put it that way. Which still doesn't sound very good, but, like... They're not as bad as their reputation would suggest. Obviously, Bubsy for the PS1 is pretty not great. You know, Bubsy 3D, that's... Bubsy 3D is a meme for a reason. Bubsy for... Uh, uh, the new Bubsy games, rather. Let me try to use my words correctly. It's getting harder and harder the more this fight goes on and the more I keep missing important attacks and just keep getting my ass handed to me by this dude. Can Alan play a weird fan-made Bubsy game? Yes. That... I'm not counting that, though, because that's a fan project. Anyhow, uh... Oh, God. We are really in the danger zone. I have a feeling that it's gonna pull out 
enough damage to kill us in a second. And I have no room to... Oh god, we are right up against it here. What the fuck? We're... All I can say is this turn had better be safe, because I'm going to take a second and I'm going to heal. Otherwise, uh... Is that actually... You know what? No, 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 no. We're going to... We're going to try to revenge here, and we're going to... See if we can get a safe turn after this. Yeah, there we go. Here comes the thunderstorm. Anyway, um... Yeah, so the post-reboot Bubsy games are terrible, both of them. I don't even think that the uh, Bubsy Bit Trip Runner game is basically what it is, uh, Bubsy Paws on Fire, I don't think that's very good. I mean, it's better than your average Bubsy game and does what it does well enough, I guess, for what it's supposed to be. Oh, right, this is a safe turn, and I just kind of goofed. I think this dude's getting faster, and that's not a great thing to think about. Anyway, um... So, yeah, those two games... Pretty terrible. Bubsy for the Jaguar. Exactly as cursed as the phrase Bubsy for the Jaguar would suggest. I know that there are a lot of Jag defenders out there, and I don't think that the Jag is necessarily a bad piece of hardware! Good God! I don't want any! Alright. I... Lynx, you useless fuck. I need this turn to be safe, otherwise I'm dead. Oh god. Okay, we're we're safe somehow. I If I had to guess. Oh, oh god, did we beat the fight? Quite nice. Mira Naras. Impressive. Their thought I there thought I there'd be humans who could defeat the Crow Sphinx by force alone. Thy way of life intrigues me to conquer all obstacles with brawn rather than brain. But I warn ye, woes shall surely, woes shall surely befall one such as thee. Wale. <laughs> Unto dust, and there we go. We we did it. That was that scared me quite a bit 2500 gold yeah whatever let's use some recovery items rip norris and fargo spoils found the sunglasses snake did you like my sunglasses actually wait a second i know i know how i can I know the appropriate uh, way to deal with that. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I, I know how. I know what the appropriate response here is. Snake, did you like my sunglasses? Get those the fuck off of you, Viper. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use this guy, but you know what? I did want to. <laughs> I, I just, I had to, I had to goof. Too much Metal Gear Solid in my life. So. Let's go over to our equipment, go to Lynx. And despite the fact that that last fight was just entirely a showing based on how the best defense will sometimes be your best offense, we're throwing out the helmet in favor of the sunglasses. Increases the damage done by all kinds of attacks you make on your enemies. So, that's a little bit confusing, but... To explain it in regular people words... And by that, I mean not regular people words at all, because this is just going to be a little more technical, but probably still confusing. Basically, our physical attacks at the very least, I believe only our physical attacks 
deal damage that is super effective against the target by element. It doesn't change our element, but if we're attacking, you know, if we were to fight that thing again somehow, which I don't think is possible, we would be attacking it as green element and still be taking damage as black element. And still crying hysterically whenever it attempts to physically attack us. Let's pop open the smith spirit. Can we buy a stone mail? No, we can't. We don't have enough money for that. Well, crap. I should probably be resetting everybody's, uh... I should probably be resetting everybody's elements, but I'm gonna go grind up a little cash first, so that way I can afford a stone ma uh, stone mail for, for Lynx. So that way he can have at least a little bit of defense. I mean, you may have noticed this, but the elemental plates, oh my god, fuck you! These are the easiest enemies in the location if you can get them before they use bombs away, which summons a bomb that blows up on whoever it lands in front of. And as far as I know, there is no avoiding it either. On the other hand, because Nora still has those bandanas on, that's free heals. I gotta set everybody back up pretty soon. You know, I'll take a yellow belly and a Fossaker party. That's fine. I mean, Fargo is probably going to get killed, but I think everybody's at max stats right now for the current level. So that's ultimately okay. Because, hey, free revives at the end of battle. Uh, nope, it's Lynx who gets gooped on. What a terrible sounding phrase. Anyway, Fargo steals lunch money. Stole an Earth Charm. I don't remember what that is, but that's a pretty good steal if that's a common steal and not a rare one. Hey, Numble. Alright. Equip the Earth Charm is... Uh, protection from anti-yellow, yes. So, never mind, that's not really that useful. If that's something that can be torn down for good elements, then sure. Alright, so Norris, you no longer need this stuff. You can go back to having, like, you know, real equipment. Like, that thing, uh... How about... What do we got for you that's useful? Oh yeah, you had the stamina ring on before, that's right. Dreamer's bandana, get that shit out of here. Don't need that. Meanwhile, Fargo over here needs a stone helmet when I can afford it. Just to pad out his defense ability even more. Uh, we'll equip the Mithril Mail to Lynx for the moment. Yeah, you can see just how much stronger the Mithril Mail is compared to the Yellow Plate. So, in the original Chrono Trigger, there were armors like this that absorbed each of the four elements of magic. And they were, like, legitimate pieces of armor, but I think fewer enemies used magic. But also, you could absolutely use some of them to cheese certain bosses. Meanwhile, in this game, they have, like, no stats, but they're much easier to use to to get through certain boss fights with minimal effort and difficulty. And yes, I do still need to set Lynx's elements back up. I will do that in a minute or two. Can this thing... Did, did it die? Okay, it did die. I just didn't have it on camera at the time, so I couldn't see.
Grib. Yeah, it, it's basically a... Uh, Grib. Apparently 907.185 kilograms to a ton. JJ, how is... How is... And yeah, um... So that's kind of a weird thing because... Of course, metric and... The not metric uh, measures don't line up perfectly, as you'd probably expect. So, a kilogram is equal to about 2.2 pounds. So, a, and a ton is 2,000 pounds in, in that, uh, you know, in that type of, because there's also a metric ton, obviously, which is 1,000 kilograms. They should just call it a megagram, you know? I think it would sound a lot cooler if you just called it a megagram in casual conversation. Always lurking. Fair enough. I hope you're... I hope you're doing pretty decent and all that. Pretty decent, as I've been informed the kids said at one point in history. Don't know what that point in history was, but it was one of them. So yeah, you, you know, you always hear uh, the the common statement. Oh, you. The common statement about kilograms and pounds is that, hey, uh, two ki two pounds is a ki equal to a kilogram. Not quite. So you end up with weird stuff like that when you do some of the conversions. And of course, yeah, metric ton is a flat 1,000 1, kilos, as I said before. So it's a nice chunk more than a a regular non-metric ton. Oh right, these things don't have Denadorite when you steal from them. I'm thinking of a dis I'm thinking of a different enemy. Dang it, I wanted more I wanted more gravel. I wanted to be able to make more items that I don't have enough money for right now. I mean that would probably be a good idea. There have been various attempts to push for making metric the the default here in America, but they tend to fail for a wide variety of reasons that I want to say are basically the same sort of effect as why A&W's third pound burger failed in the face of the quarter pounder. Well, I mean, yes, but something, something dumb people. Anyway, after all of that, we can equip this. Oh, that's actually worth a decent chunk. Three defense, four magic defense. There you go. Yeah, exactly. And no, I didn't make up the thing about the third pounder burger losing out to the quarter pounder in, in terms of, uh, people's brains because you know they were like oh one over three versus one over four but four is a bigger number you know steel's heavier than feathers right and this explains so much about america for those of you who have never been anywhere near this country. Oh. Oops. I accidentally whacked my space bar. Um, what it tells you is don't fucking come here because your brain will explode. Exactly. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's basically wow. Our education system really sucks, and nobody seems to be interested in making it better. 
because of course, if people are smarter, it's harder to control them through the usual ways that the people in power like to do it. Our current Secretary of Education? I'm not surprised. I mean, we all know that our last one didn't support education in any way whatsoever because... You know, dumb as a rock made of other rocks, but... You know, um... I forgot where I was going with this. Oh right, you know where I should go with this first? Is I should set links back up with a grid that's not dog shit. <laughs> Mm. Let, me, let me stop clowning around for five seconds here. I guess I can put actual Purify on here instead of just Revenge. I mean, Revengeance is a perfectly fine move, but there's more to life than that, I swear. It's a cat! Yeah, you're right, it is, isn't it? Uh... Oh, right. I think I had a couple of just junk blues on here to help try and get our buddy, what's his name, able to use more of his summon. Oh, that's a magma burst, not a magma bomb. Whoops. And of course, the rest is just, oh, hey, AoEs. Over here, yeah, after this point, like, nothing has been messed with. Alright, pull into, quote-unquote, port around Termina here. Now that we're on land again, let's save. And Viper Manor is up. I think we can go and... find Norris inside of Viper Manor and we can talk to him. And that might be how we unlock his level 7 skill. I'm certainly going to give that a a try here. It's locked. I don't know if we have the key or not. Hey, bud. I brought the other you over here. <clears throat> Who are you? Another me? What's going on? And suddenly <laughs> the voice just changes completely. It appears that both of us need to look at the big picture. Only have a limited understanding by staying in the same place. It, shut up, nerd! I saw you with that space gun! I'm gonna be stationed here forever, so take this. Receive top shot. Alright. So I guess if Norris ever gets a, a seventh slot, uh, a level seven slot, he can equip that there. Neat. Hey, get out of here, nerd. Oh yeah, I should probably bring Zoa in here to get his level 7. I mean, this stuff is all optional that we're doing right now, honestly, but... A level 7 skill for Norris at least would be nice, so there... 
there's something there. Uh, we got we got the stuff in the Viper room. Oh hey Lucia, can you join us now? With your not very good German accent. Can I pick up the thing on the desk? Um. Hmm. Do you happen to like explosives? No, apparently she's not interested in explosives. Hey, Grobic, what are you doing back here? Oh, you're just chilling? Okay. I mean, that's cool. And yeah, this is the, the room with the trap in it from before. From way before, like 20 hours ago. God, I've been playing this game for a while. I mean, I know that we all kind of know that, but I also realized, oh god, I upped this to day 10 on my stream title. I've been playing this game for nearly 30 hours. At least according to the Steam's counter. It's a little bit less on my actual counter, but meh. And by actual counter, I mean the clock on the file select screen. Which is just, wow. This game is long. Then again, it's it's a PS1 era RPG, so I mean, what do you expect? It they're not exactly short. Although for some reason, I always have had it stuck in my brain that like a one disc PS1 era RPG is like 20 hours. And I don't know where I got that from. I'm going to assume that it's some weird load of shit that was made up by a gaming magazine at some point. Because, you know, they used to put those little statistics and stuff when they did any larger spreads and just choking things into a single one page or less review. And they'd be like, oh, how long to beat? How many, how many players, etc. Only I could open that. Uh, Zoa, get to the front of the party. There you go. Receive Zoa's Toss and Spike. Excellent. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to use Zoa very much. Although, let me take a look at the dude's stats. I mean, remember, Norris has taken a dirt nap for a bunch of boss fights, so... Zoa might actually end up being a little... Uh, I mean... Honestly, not really. His main upside is that he has more HP. But otherwise, like... That's the one thing that he does better than Norris right now. And I think I've actually given Norris a couple of, like, utility items as opposed to just being... Hey! Why don't you just do some damage? So, out you go, buddy. Where's Fargo again? Bring in the Cigar Man, once again. Oh yeah, that's just a way down, not a way up. So yes, I believe that we are done now until we get the Surge Body back, at least for this location. Once we come back, we can go and recruit Lucia again, I think. Because we didn't do that earlier in the game, when we could have. Uh, hey guys, let us out. Shadow Forest. This... Is it this world or the other one where we can get Fun Guy? I'm going to assume that it's the other world, just because having it here would be a little bit too convenient, right? Right. 
Oh wow, something that can do more than one damage to Fargo. I'm kind of impressed. As it dies in one hit from Lynx. Wow. Talk about your glass cannon, I guess. When you're sitting here being impressed at an enemy for doing more than one damage to a member of your party. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, only a few bosses really give us trouble. And if I'd been smart and, like, actually fought the Crow Sphinx the proper way, it wouldn't have been that hard. The way you're supposed to fight it is that you're supposed to just... It will start asking you riddles looking for elements of specific colors. And you're supposed to just cast those on it. Which is also a spoiler for the end of the game. It doesn't tell you what the spoiler is, but, you know... It, you'll figure it out later, basically. Um, so... However, if you do that, you don't get the sunglasses. So, we wanted the sunglasses, because they're pretty good. I'm not 100% sure how to get this chest, but we're gonna take a couple of... Wow, okay. Like you would have played this game anyway, Tav. Hey, an arrow saucer. That was not worth the effort, but okay. I mean, to be honest, I swear it's something that can be learned. It's just whether or not you'd actually want to, because when you look at it, it's, uh, it is, what's the word I'm looking for? I I'm looking for the more specific version. Don't just say garbage, because that, that doesn't count. I'm looking for it. Intimidating is sort of n not quite what I'm trying to say, but also not necessarily wrong. A green Wobbuffet. It's a little yellow-green, but it's, you know, somewhere in the middle. What is this? The sleep we can't get through. Just blow it up. We got explosives. Berries. Daunting is what it looks like. Uh, that's not a bad one. All right. Path. Use an aroma patch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. One of the pile of bones is one bone different from the rest. Yeah, let's just take a random bone. An angry scapula. That's right. I was always pissed off about something. I think I was angry at myself for having no talent. You're a clown skeleton, dude. Come on. Oh, I get it. That's... That's kind of sad. You became a clown because everybody made fun of you to begin with. Wow. Oh, that's... Skelly is all of us. For real, though. Okay, yeah, it's out there. Um, Wobbuffet? The horrible Wobbuffet thing that... The, the low-rent Wobbuffet doesn't want to follow us. Disappointing. Because I think that's the mechanic around here, is that you're supposed to get this thing to follow you. Get that thing to follow you in some way.
Oh, I see. We gotta get the the red blob, I guess. Wah budget. <laughs> God. Wah budget. There we go. There. That's the pronunciation we're looking for. Where's Where's the weird thing? I think it's over in this room, right? Yeah, there it is. All right. Come here, you. Hmm, I see it's not really that interested in following us, apparently. Continued saying it wrong anyway. Mm. Fair enough. Oh, Delibird. Delibird? Delibird? If it's delibered, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna fight someone. You know? I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh my god. You, you are shitting me. It's supposed to be pronounced delibered. I'm. That's... I dislike that immensely. Mm. Alright, so if I take another of the green particles, will this thing try to follow me again, or... Okay, so they just start fucking around whenever you... I don't really go this way a whole lot, so... I mean... Yeah, I don't remember. Hey, Iron Fury, how's it going? Uh, hopefully better than usual, because you've been having some messy times lately. Did it eat our pack power pellet? It did not. Okay. Still relegated to a cell phone, but not terrible, all things considered. Well, I mean, we can take that, I think. All right, come on, buddy. I was going to say, this thing seems to be following us, but it also just immediately turned coat as soon as we gave it our, our pellet. So, let's try seeing if we can give it a different one. So, full of 5G, you apparently reinvent cancer. Wow. That's... That's a lot of 5G. Hey, do you respond to a different color of of flying pill? The answer is no. They wouldn't be wrong, would they? Well, you see, my only answer to that is they like minions. Alright, well, Banana Slug is back to... Hmm. This might be rough, unless there's... I'm just doing the complete wrong thing here? That, I suppose, is always the possibility. Actually, can we just, like, stuff you into the aroma pouch or something, dude? The answer is no, apparently. 
Mickey Mantle can be a triple crown winner without being a horse. <laughs> that work? Uh, what if we try... So let's... Okay, so it was following us, it just didn't make a noise that time. That's weird. That's very weird. Wow, something in this game is weird? Who would have guessed, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It did. Is that the one that you? Is that one that you posted in, uh, in Brian's Discord at some point? I feel like that's something that you posted in Brian's Discord not too long ago. Oh no, our our low budget Wobbuffet got aided. And now we have to fight a. Uh, a thing that's probably now just a mini boss, but I think normally would be considered an actual boss. Ah, yes, a quad fit. That's that's right. These things that were mentioned many eons ago. He posted a few. Okay, I I know I saw a couple of them, or at least one, go up on the day that you were on Brian's stream doing all of the, the doing all the jokes about calling in and saying things and I posted the, the you know whatever remember what happened to Chunky he's dead now one the, oh right a, a horse in Schenectady right I heard that one I was just like <laughs> I just I stopped for a few minutes there like what the f what's this dude going on about this fucking horse in Schenectady that was That was something, all right. That's for sure. Although, of course, that's <laughs> a lot of radio shows just attract very strange calls in general. That's how you know it's a good one is when they're really weird. Oh, jeez. That sounds like quite a story already. Meanwhile, it's chainsaw. It's just blaring in the back. Oh, God. <laughs> that added yet another dimension to it. What the hell is this rock doing here? <laughs> no, nah, I think just a just a chainsaw, chainsaw. You know, the thing that in theory you're supposed to mostly use for for Lumber related activities. Lumber related activities, that's a way to use my words, and not well. <laughs> Amazing.
Thanks, Mike. Okay, so we can't actually go in that hole. But we'll... We'll take care of this fight anyway, because we're here. Related to Texas Chainsaw... God, I hope not! <laughs> Push this rock more? I don't remember this. Oh, I think we're supposed to like block the hole from the bugs or something. Yeah, yeah. See, I do remember this a little bit. And by that, I mean I just guessed. Oh, and there's a blob in to get us. As they do. Just dropping from the ceiling. It's still something to... You know... The way I feel about it is, like, relative to whether or not someone uses it, it's still, if other people are using it, I, I think there's a difference between reading and personally using, basically, is what I'm trying to say. For a while, I didn't use Reddit back when, you know, I had uh, opinions about how Reddit was run. I still don't use Reddit a lot, by the way. I pretty much just use it to, like, read two subreddits, both for video games. But... You know, I would still, if somebody linked me something on Reddit, I'd be like, well, all right, I'll go look at it. It's not my fault they chose to, to post it on a, a website that's, you know, whatever the case may be, because... Then again, Reddit also, uh, you know, functionality is meh. Didn't use it much before, so nothing will change for you now. Yeah, fair enough, that too. bug hole is gone, so I think we're just done here if we just leave this area, if we keep stumbling onto these bugs as we go. Anything else we would want in the Shadow Forest is in the other world. I don't even remember if we have... Uh, I don't remember what dragons we still have that we can fight face in this world. We still have four more that we can fight. And I'm gonna guess that the red dragon is in the other world? But I could be wrong about that. Either way, uh, red, white, green, and blue remain, so yeah. So we will be taking a look into doing those. That way we can get on with the story. I pretty much spent the last two streams basically dealing with bonus bosses. Dogs making noise in the other room, just like usual. A dog will bark at basically anything. And I mean it. I think. That dog will certainly bark at a lot of things, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, what I was... I realized that... When I got that sub earlier, I didn't get the echoing... Uh, second notification that was like two minutes out or whatever because well I did go and shut off the notification from stream elements or stream elements stream labs pardon me so I think that 
was actually what the problem is. For some reason, Streamlabs is now still trying to play the sounds of my notifications, despite the fact that I don't have a Streamlabs notification box on my thing anymore. So... That's weird! Is all I can say about that, is wow, that's weird. Alright, get on the boat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, so Gaia's Naval, I believe, is the location of the Green Dragon, and we can't go here right now. We need something to open this, and I don't remember what it is. I would assume it to be... Uh, I was going to say, is it the Fiddler Crab? I don't think it's the Fiddler Crab. We already used the Fiddler Crab for something else anyway. So, Sky Dragon Isle. Is this going to be... Well, I mean, this would be where we fight the White Dragon if we are in the correct world. Or it could just be an empty island. Have I played the new Kirby game yet? I have not, but I've heard it's pretty good from a couple of people. I should probably borrow it from someone at some point, because you know, I do enjoy a good Kirby game. And If this one's pretty good, and if it does the 3D transition thing decently, uh, in terms of 3D gameplay, obviously, there, there have been Kirby games in 3D before. Yeah, in that case, cool. Hey, Sky Dragon. Need the protections of the five dragons of the world. Oh, we have to fight this dude last. What a pretentious asshole. <laughs> Played super safe but enjoyable. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, Kirby games are not necessarily usually all that difficult, to be fair. So... Can't complain much there. So is there a blue dragon here? Water dragon? Whatever its name is. Alright, well there's the ice wall, so we should be able to get through this with the Garai keepsake, I think. No, apparently. Oh, so I guess we have to do it in the other world. It's to Kirby what 3D World was to Mario. Gotcha! I played Super Mario 3D World a couple of years ago. It was... okay. It wasn't the best thing in the world. I mean, in terms of... like, that style of... straightforward Mario platformer as opposed to... uh... You know, the, the collect-a-thon thing. I probably still would be a little more interested in a couple of those first. And in general, I mean, with those games... You do have a, a high bar to fight when you look at stuff like... Uh, Mario 3 and that, but yeah. Works decently for Kirby, that's good. I'm glad to hear that, because... Yeah. Kirby is one of those franchises that doesn't really miss most of the time. I don't think there's a whole lot of bad Kirby games out there. I'm sure somebody's going to come in here with some Kirby opinions if I say that, but mm, what can you do, right? Oh, we got a save point here, so maybe this is going to be the side of the world where we can go fight the water dragon.
Hey, you. Eh, I mean... I'm gonna make this short, probably. Hundred percent, the main game isn't painstaking, but you haven't gotten to the post game, haven't finished the post game yet. Well, cool. That's that's good. Uh, to be fair, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, um, so I guess how big is that post game relative to the main main deal here? Oh, I see we got some big nasty looking crabs. And we got our old friends, the Lagoonates. Oh, and the big nasty looking crabs. Ah, yes, as usual, the Lagoonates are causing really gross amounts of lag. Thank you so much. For not having checked that before you released this Square Enix. One world, as far as you know, for that post game. Hmm. Still an anti red. That's. Meh. Oh, you're really not impressed with the bullets, huh, buddy? The sidestepper. Wow, it really does not like it when you attack it physically. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Don't get frozen. Never mind. He got frozen. He got frozen today. Between work shifts and babysitting a three-year-old. Oh, boy. You've been pretty busy then. Well, we had a chance to drop a frog prince on this dude, so... Hopefully, I'll be some good damage. Oh, do you just counter everything with Ice Blast, buddy? Is this so? That's kind of mean. Oh, well, at least only two-thirds of the party got frozen. Hmm, I think I would much like to not fight those enemies if I can. We got an Inferno Trap, which would be nice if I knew anything that had that move offhand. His Inferno is pretty good. Oh, I see we're going to have to fight at least one of these, right? Oh, this one's... We, we went into a specific position here. I feel like this is going to count as a mini-boss. Which, honestly, fair enough, because... Reminds you of Legend of Dragoon. Hmm. I mean... Yeah, PS1 RPG around a similar era. Legend of Dragoon is one that I have not played, though. I might have a copy of it somewhere, but I've never played it. And yeah, speaking of which, and speaking of the potential of a remaster there, I th think the rights are probably tied up somewhere weird, or possibly it's, like, owned by Sony or something, and of course they're not gonna do shit with it. Okay, so I see that here comes the side Steppa isn't countering everything with ice this time. Which is kinda weird. 
That would be... Um... Well, it was a PS1 ex uh, Legend of Dragoon was a PS1 exclusive. That said, I think that back in the Dreamcast days, there was actually an attempt to make a PS1 emulator that functioned on the Dreamcast, known as Bleemcast, I believe. Uh, being a version of the old PS1 emulator Bleem, which was a thing that existed at the time and kind of important for copyright related reasons, I believe. So, I mean, it's not necessarily impossible that someone could probably have like, knocked that onto a disc somehow to just, you know, load off of that, but hmm, yeah. It, yeah, it's probably just PS1. Alright, Water Dragon is just beyond here. Let's see what we can do about this big bastard. This just looks like the... This just looks like the Chameleon Monsters from Jade Cocoon 2. Which is a game that I never did actually finish doing the post-game stuff for on stream. I mean, I beat the game, but I didn't finish the, the post-game. And then I took a break for like five months or something. So... Oh jeez, was was Legend of Dragoon four discs? I, I didn't remember it was that big. The original Soul Calibur, yeah, uh, which is the only, uh, the earliest game in the series that I own is Soul Calibur 2, and I forget which console I have that on. It might be one that I have on GameCube. One of the relatively few options for a GameCube fighting game that's not Smash Brothers. As far as I can remember, anyway. I want that Dragon God Blessing. Yeah. This is the same speech that one of the previous ones gave us. Oh, it's got some nasty looking teeth. Teeth! Oh, right, yeah, um... Soul Blade that was originally called Soul Edge, and then it had... I know it was renamed to Soul Blade in the UK because the owners of Edge Magazine are assholes, but... Yeah. Oh, come on. That's barely even damage. And it's Fargo. What, what a waste of time, big blue guy. Never owned two. Played the shit out of three. I absolutely also played the shit out of three. Soul Calibur three was a fun game. And that said, it was pretty glitchy in one rather notable way that it could eat your save file. I think I actually did run into that issue that I had the save file eaten. After I... And it was after I beat the Chronicles of the Sword mode or whatever it was called. I don't remember the name offhand, but it was the... The one that was... I don't necessarily want to call it RTS-like because... I think that's not necessarily correct, but... It had a, a field that you walked around in, and you got into fights with, with people when you ran into them. Uh, I guess a little more RPG-like would probably be the better way to put it, but... Yeah, I... Yeah. I definitely... I beat the whole thing, and I'm pretty sure my save file glitched out a couple months after that. Which... You know, that... That kind of sucks, for a wide variety of reasons. Because I did a lot of work into that, and that was a game where the AI was hard as balls. And so there was a lot of stuff that I had a lot of trouble getting. 
Like, I had a lot of trouble getting through the regular uh, story mode, not the... Not the, the pseudo-RPG weirdness that it had with, like, anybody to try and get to fight Olkadan and get their weapon for for fighting the O'Reilly man, but, uh... I, I got it with shang and that was it. And that was the only character that I could actually manage to pull that off with. By the way, yeah, look how easy these bosses are gonna get now. Uh... Like, I'm, I kind of think that shang was just, like, the easy-to-pick-up high-tier character from Soul Calibur 3. I don't know that it was well-balanced, but... Uh, I probably should have, like, tried being actually good at her, but I mostly played as Zosalamel. I liked his... his attack where he just flipped over people with his scythe, and you could easily combo that over and over. And hey... Look who's not getting a level 7 yet again. Good job, Norris. <laughs> You're actually becoming a lot more disappointing than I thought you would be. But we got a blue whale, so we've got a level 8 summon whenever Fargo gets his level 8 slot. Might take a bit. Turns into a little dog, right? Okay, look, it's the Eddie Gordo of Soul Calibur. Nice. Stick boy, yeah. Keelik is another one who is just, like, super easy to learn one or two basic combos that are really... really asinine. Like, I think that's one of the very few times that anybody has ever complained at me for doing something cheesy in a fighting game. I think it was Soul Calibur 2 when I did it, and he had this one combo that would just... was like just two moves and he'd just keep knocking you down. And, I mean, sure, yeah, it's cheesy, but... Mm, I mean... If it works, it works, and I'm... I'm kind of scrubbed here at most fighting games, so hey, if it... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like something that would happen to you, Tav. So, I got 6, and I haven't played it in a very long time. I haven't picked up any of the DLC for it, to my knowledge. Maybe I did remember to pick it up at some point and just forgot to do stuff with it. Um, I don't really remember who I was playing in it for the brief period that I played it. I may have to reinstall it, which... Wow, that'll put me with two fighting games. Actually, that'll put me with three fighting games installed on my PC, because I forgot I had Rivals of Aether installed as well. Um... So... Oh look, Sawfish. Um, in two... I don't really remember who I played a lot of in two. In 3, as I said, Zoslamel was kind of the guy that I played a lot, but I also did enjoy... Because uh, there was just a, a thing where you could basically just spin the right stick, like I'm doing right now, which is resulting in... You know, Link's having a, a time, and it would just do... It would just do inputs. So, sometimes I would just be like, okay, I don't know how to play Ivy, I'm just going to select her and spin the right stick, and we're going to see if something funny happens. And sometimes it would work out. I think I did the same with Valdo, but I actually did try to learn some of Valdo's combos at one point. And then eventually I stopped playing the game not long after that, and so I don't remember a damn thing because I haven't touched it in a very long time.
But Valdo would definitely be fun to learn because, I mean, it's Valdo. Valdo is just pretty great. Alright, so we can go into Fort, Fort Dragonia. Can we go and get Draggy now? Because I believe that in order to do this, we just have to go to that egg room and we have to use the big egg that we got. And that'll let us unlock a free character. Oh god, are all the puzzles reset? Please no. Is this just because we're in the other world? Oh god, you guys, I think all the puzzles are reset. Mm. Your mother with this game. Okay, so I've got a feeling that all this stuff is like, there's going to be different stuff in these chests because we're in the other world. I, I am so goddamn disoriented in terms of which world we're in for some reason at any given time. I think we're doing a bunch of shit way too early here. But hey, I'll take some of the freebies if this place is going to be unpopulated by monsters. Yeah, many of them are four-legged. I get it, probably. Yeah, this is the one that I'm, like, not good at remembering how it works. So... This might take a minute. Or more! We could be here all damn day, possibly. Hope not, but... I mean, it's a lot of things, really. Some weird pixels over here. I don't know if that's... questionable art asset or what. gonna be a hey try every permutation until something works kind of thing and whatever is in that chest is probably pretty good and the same with the other one
So I guess it's fine that we can't solve it this time. So that's all combinations. Um, still doesn't really give me a way to the middle, though. But we did get a thunderstorm. There we go. We picked up one of those finally. And again, I think there's a few that we didn't get when we had the stairs out. Let's try doing this reset and then we're gonna, gonna go back here. Okay, yeah, so this allows us to open the stairs, which doesn't really do much else for us. Now we go over to the panel to swap the, the shape of the party. Ah, right, this just completely seals us in. no trick that'll let me get across there. Because otherwise I'm stuck looking at this like, how do I even do this? Uh, this is our last real option. This may just have be something we have to come back to later. Yeah, see, I don't see a way to get to... Okay, well, there's... We can check out this gravestone thing here. Got anything for us? There we go. That's right, that's a switch. I genuinely did not remember that. That turns off the yellow weird hum thing. I'm gonna go look back at the blue room real quick and see if there's any paths that we missed in there because there might be another nice treasure for us to pick up if that's the case. Yeah, see, we didn't go through the one in the middle. Oh, okay, so it's a fight. Well... You know what? I don't know how hard it could possibly be. Lag aside, anyway. Oh god, my party is in a weird order. That threw me off. That threw me off a lot. 
Holy fuck, Fargo! You blind... <laughs> Man who cannot see? Wow. Maybe don't fight blindfolded, sir. This isn't a punch-out tournament. Like, those are... Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I mean, we were still working at 70% accuracy, not... Which means that we have no chance of succeeding, because, hey... XCOM numbers. It's like accuracy checks in competitive Pokémon. If you don't have perfect, you're fucked. Well, at least Link's cleaned up house nicely. Well, hopefully this fight was blocking something useful, you know? Nope, it's just an empty room. I see it was a trick. A trick to make me personally be irritated in a... in a very easy fight. Right, 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 right. This is... This puzzle. I think puzzle might be a strong word. This thing where you face mash into all the combinations. fighting these dudes, I don't think. Well, I mean, we have stats we can gain. We probably should do that. South. That is not what... Oh, right. I see now. Never mind. I'm wrong. Find some nostrums. Nostrums. Denodorites. And a volcano. Oh, yes. I think the volcano is the real prize there. That's a pretty good uh, red element. I'm pretty sure that's an AoE as well. Hey, get out of the equipment. There we go. Allocate. I want to go take a look at what we've picked up here so far. Uh, it should be towards the bottom of the list. Yeah. Yeah, iceberg. Oh, okay. I see. These, are, these require you to be... The correct innate color. So yeah, Thunderstorm, as we saw before, that's an AoE. Iceberg is also an AoE, and Volcano as well. Although good red innate characters are pretty hard to come by, so... Goodness knows when we will be using those. So, one last of these puzzles to do, and it's the room where there's just a maze full of monsters. And there's not much uh, thinking being done here, just get through the area. Just get through the rooms, forehead! Excuse me.
Alright, now that's much better. So Fargo should actually have a chance to be able to steal something now, right? Yoink! It's a Denodorite. Mm, that's alright. Kept taking its arm. Failed because of constantly taking the arms off and clobbering people with them, right? That's the real reason when it comes down to it. Oh, I see we've got these chameleon things instead of the weird scroll enemies we had before. And we got more nostrums. Well, it's good to see that our collection of those is going up because those will be nice to be carrying around for the uh, upcoming dungeons. At least the final dungeon. Again, I'm assuming that it's not going to be a complete steamroll, even though we're getting to a point where we are just doing really good with especially Lynx, mostly because of the absolutely ridiculous accessory we got. Very innate. Okay, so it, it does exactly what you'd think it would do as a chameleon. It changes colors. And it changed to yellow for some reason, just like everything else. What a weird flex, but okay. Type that before the little arm flail. Yeah. It's an attack, alright, that's for sure. An attack on the concept of good taste. Wait. Oh, so it actually does use attacks, probably based on the, the element that it changed to. Although upheaval is not very impressive anymore, gotta say. Two earth charms and something else. I didn't even look. It's gonna be... Uh, it's more nostrums. More nostra, perhaps? I don't know. being tailed. Hey, Tornado. That is no doubt gonna be a green only level 6 AoE. Let's take a look though. Yep. Let's do this. We haven't seen this in a minute. Feral cats. Yeah, I mean, they... Well, they do have to choose something to... be A color to be represented by wind. For... They have to choose a color to represent wind, I suppose. And if green's not doing anything this week, well, that's what they're gonna choose, I guess. But yes, green in this game is... Well, it's quite a few things, but... Wind is one of them. Wind and plants. For some reason. Of course, even weirder, as I've said before, is the fact that yellow is earth and electricity. And also Norris is sun lasers for some reason. Meanwhile, red is mostly just fire, and blue is mostly just water and ice. 
Oh, okay, so we were getting whiteouts for the other ones. Yeah, I guess, yeah, nature more or less. Fair enough. Another Denodorite. Take some more rocks. We're getting a... We should be getting a fair chunk of cash. Yeah, we're, we're shoring it back up, so we'll be able to... We'll be able to buy some more rock helmets and stuff for people who need them. And that opens the main column of Fort Dragonia. I don't think we need to actually finish this place yet. But I'm mostly trying to go and see if I can access a certain character in this world, so I'm doing this now. I feel like it is possible. And we could have gone here much sooner, in fact. Alright, so that's the white thing. No son of a gun this time. In fact, no boss at all. As I go out instead of going to the elevator. Whoops. Alright, go down. Alright, and this glowing slot here will... I might screw this up because I'm not facing the right way, possibly. Putting a big egg. There we go. Yeah, see, there we go. This is how we get draggy. Good morning. Brother. Etc. Wow, okay, this accent is questionable. Sure! It's we get a little baby dragon in our party. Draggy is a potentially pretty good character, if I recall correctly. I don't remember... Uh, let's take a look at the little fella's stats and remember that Norris is well-equipped. Draggy, I don't think, has jack shit going on in that department, but... Good resistance, good magic resistance... Draggy's main downside is a lack of agility or strength. However, Draggy also has naturally the highest stamina recovery stat in the entire game. Of 13. So, got a nice 1.3 times multiplier to your stamina recovery. If you equip stamina rings and stuff, Draggy can just do a ton of shit, which is potentially pretty good with a decent magic stat, good equipment. You know, Draggy can be an alright character. Draggy also has a really easy to get uh, level 7 ability, if I recall correctly. Oh, oh hi, enemy that just walked into me. Oh hi, Mark. Wait. No, he's not here today. That's okay, I know he's not a big fan of the RPGs, but... Ugh, it's the only kind of game that I'm even remotely good at. And I mean, I'm sure we're stretching the definition a little bit there, but... Mm. Wow, okay! Nobody can hit this fucking thing, apparently! Alright, and there's the... The boost to all kinds of stats, which means that I think we've just rounded out our stat gains for this particular star level. So... I don't know how to get down there, unfortunately. See, so we got th this hopping goofus over here. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to see if there's just like a, a jump down space or something that I missed. Real quick. 
I mean, there's a couple of places that it looks like you can jump down. You're mashing the button. I mean, I guess a little bit, yeah. Alright, so in that case, it's another path elsewhere in the vicinity that I have not gone through. Or perhaps it's a thing I have to do in the other world in order to access it. That's always a possibility. I don't think getting into those Lava Boy fights is going to help us. Oh, incoming bull. Always land on your feet. Yeah, exactly, right? You'd think it'd be real easy to, to pull this off or something. And of course, we whiff on the three, which is always an unfortunate state of affairs. You know, I probably should equip Fargo with Iceberg instead of the Frog Prince. Even though Frog Prince has been doing good damage, I think Iceberg is going to be similar in power and it'll be easier to set up because we won't have to rely on forcing the field to be a certain way. I'll do that after this fight. Incidentally, judging by the damage numbers that I dealt during that one fight, I think, uh, with Feral Cats anyway, I think the sunglasses apply to element damage too, not just physical damage, which if so, wow, that's actually really, really sick. All right, Fargo. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Iceberg and Frog Prince for the Iceberg. Elephant damage. Well, I mean... If you get damaged by an elephant, it's gonna be big. Wait, what? I forgot what I was saying, but I said something silly anyway, so, meh. Wow, imagine me saying anything that made sense, right? Do -do 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 -do. Alright, so I think we just want to go the other way, go... Or is that a one-way exit? It could be a one-way exit. Give me a second here. Ah! Stood up for a second, I hit my headband on my lampshade and it didn't even hurt that much. So, at least there's, at least it didn't hurt, you know? At least it's going to be a painless experience if it's going to be one at all. Alright, Fargo, I'm pretty sure that you as a sailor don't like to see icebergs, but let's show this off anyway. I like it! That's some good damage. Well, I, I mean, it's alright damage anyway. It's, it's comparable to Feral Cats. 
with an elemental advantage. And we're seven mag or five magic below links, so I mean that's all right. It's a good use of a turn, all considered. All right, dodge around the bulls. Like over chill. <laughs> it's that cryogenically frozen stuff. Ooh, I see the lava is still, well, lava hot here. Ah, yes, I forgot this enemy is called the Torminator. And it does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Well, I think we're about to set ourselves on fire really badly, so it's a good thing I grabbed that Nostrum earlier. That large amount of Nostrum in Fort Dragonia. Once I have a good look at the lay of the land here anyway. Because, yeah, I don't think we'd be allowed to climb up that with it not being ice. Uh, but, 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 how badly beat up are we? Well, Fargo has 2 HP, but you know, he, he'll he die from anything, so, man. The red brooch that... red brooch, pardon me. I don't remember what that is, but okay. We'll find out in a second. After we deal with this chucklehead. Get to use some free healing elements. Where's our ice breath? There we go. Oh, we're not close enough to it? Do we have to be literally setting ourselves on fire in order to freeze this? It doesn't freeze at all, apparently. Okay. Now that's weird! <laughs> Oh, maybe we just... Well, we didn't take any damage, so maybe we weren't in the area. Orochimaru, jeez. Makes me think of the attack roach enemies from Earthbound. A little bit. Or whatever they were called, violent cockroach or something. It was it was something strange like that. Links, I know that's a dog, but you're a cat. You can you can fight this bastard. Come on. Quit missing like this. You're making me look bad too. Excuse me. Oh wow. That thing is just waiting for us. Hey, it's only one, though. Okay. If you insist, game. Yeah, Earthbound was a pretty good game. I haven't played it in, in a bit, but... You know. Wow, it's like, my, it's like my username is related to Earthbound, and so, of course, I'm gonna... <laughs> stump for that game, right? <laughs> Mm. All right, all right, all right. Like a million of these dogs running around, trying to weaken. That's that's all right. Not really, but I'm. I was expecting something a little bit more, a little bit more impressive, just because of the fact that we're in a very out of the way area. I need to look at that red bro or red brooch. Brooch, brooch, Jesus. Me not being able to remember the correct way to pronounce a single word. Inferno. Oh, yes. And Strengthen. Well, the Inferno is definitely the big winner here. 
Alright, the sunglasses provide no stats, so the red... Seeing that, protection against... Protection against anti-red and red status effects. Nice! That could be a good option... Um... For a red innate, probably, if anything. Alright, so our red dragon is going to be in the other world, and we're probably going to have to do this same path, basically, to get there. If I had to hazard a guess. And unfortunately, I kind of do at this point, because I don't know for sure. But we'll see when we get there. And that could be a way to round things off today, I guess. Because then after that, we have to find the... We gotta get to the green dragon. And... The... Sky Dragon afterwards is just a free fight, basically. One, well, we can't fight the Sky Dragon until after we fight the other, the, all the other five dragons. And so far, we've gotten to three of them. We get the Red Dragon in the other world. And we get the green dragon. Again, I think the green dragon is in Gaius Naval. But I don't remember how to get in there. So. Go. We arrive at the Pyre Shore. Uh, gotta step outside of there for a second in order to save. Oh yeah, I have money now. I should pop open the Smith Spirit real quick and see what we can grab for people. Uh, stone Mail. All of our team have Stone Mail uh, accessories. Everybody have a Stone Helmet. Uh, except for Lakes, obviously, because he's not that, but Fargo does not have one, so let's let's gear him up. Does anyone here have better weapons they would like to get right now? Uh, you got a Denodorite gun already. Yeah, so everybody's weapons are good for the moment. You want to just equip Fargo with that stone helmet. And I mean, sure, all it's gonna do is give him plus one defense, but whatever. That's fine. Anything's good. I, I, I sort of almost remember that there was a meme of Barack Obama, but I don't 100% remember if so, but of course I can... I can mentally picture, you know, the, the attendant photoshops, right? But yeah, he does basically become kind of a diplomat in, in Eleven, which is one of those things that it, it kind of looks really strange. And then you think back to the scene in MK9 where all of the, the Tarkatans are... The cartons are messing around with guns, basically. And he's like, dude, don't do that! Oh yeah, we're, we started this fight in the middle of lava. That's real smart. We're on their home turf, but whatever. They're, they're pretty weak at this point, so... Just give me your lunch money, lava boys, and we can be out of here. And you are out of here!
Uh, hello? Hot doggity. We, we failed to get the chest up there. Okay, well, you know what? It's fine that we didn't get into that fight then. Because we're going to need that as a source of recovery in a moment. Then Baraka has like a, well, a design with a lot of blades and sharp teeth and stuff, so he's definitely one of the scariest looking... You know, he... He looks nasty, and of course a lot of people aren't gonna, you know, dig too deep into Mortal Kombat stuff like that. That eh, was just for a poultice cap. Well, I mean... It's free real estate, isn't it? Yeah, I think Baraka kind of falls by the wayside for a lot of people when it comes to any semblance of interest in the character development, which... You know, to be fair, I, I kind of sometimes want to be like, well, how much were people that invested in Mortal Kombat plot? But I mean, there's legit writing, especially in the later games, there. Alright, so before we talk to the big dude, let's take a look and see if there's anything to be looted from the area, and the answer to that is no. Alright, you. Uh, do we have to talk to the little guy? It would help if you weren't under the bridge. Ah, so he's using the little... The little dragon is sort of a, a voice conduit, I see. So this is probably going to be a fight with multiple forms, which is something that I don't think we've really seen much of to this point, if at all. So we do what we do in any of these fights, and we Eagle Eye Fargo. Yeah, definitely. That... That was a very important, uh... Oh ye gods, the lag. Holy good god, this thing is absolutely, a uh, like, no frame rate. It's legitimately only the fact that I was in fast forward that was giving that thing any semblance of not completely dying. Big yikes. What are you doing, Square Enix? And we missed. Um. What? How did we miss stealing from, from that? Did we, uh... Well, I see that Raid here doesn't want to talk to us. We gotta leave the room and re-enter, don't we? So, uh... Did we lose our Eagle Eye from the fight changing phases? Is that so? That sucks! Let's do things a little differently this time in order to make sure that we can push this a little bit without risking the form change. Because apparently that causes some issues. And we'll see if pillaging from this fight gives us the red plate. Magic ring. Nope, we gotta reset this then. So... 
Yeah, of course we dropped the stolen goods, because, yeah. Ugh. That's alright. I don't know if it's going to be Phase 2 or if there might even be a Phase 3, because... Of course, the big dude is still kind of trapped in the ground there. Nice whiff, Lynx. Comes. Oh wow, the, the lag didn't go completely ballistic there. Wow, Fargo, how many times do you want your accuracy to reset today? Because apparently it's like three times in the same turn. I don't understand how the accuracy resetting thing like works all the time because yeah. All right, just pillage. You should guaranteed to get the red plate. Yes. All right, so this is probably only gonna be a two form fight. And of course Fargo's getting his ass whooped right now, but We'll probably be able to, like, end this fight real soon, just because of our sheer ability to deal damage. Honestly, at this point, I could probably just do, uh, diminish for every fight, because I don't really need to use too many attacking elements anymore. Mostly because of Lynx. Right. Uh, I don't even have a Diminish on you, dude. Yeah, you do. Alright. Diminish. And that way, if this thing ever tries to use any magic on us, it will not really go much anywhere. Fargo! Missing at 99% again! You... <sighs> and, and of course the eagle eye ran out, so it's probably just that the game was lying to me. And of course missing at 90% right after that, because... You know, he, he's just kind of a fucker like that, I guess. Fargo more like fucko. God damn, everybody! Why are you so bad right now? Why are you so bad at this, all of you? This guy is the... F this is the first fight that's put up a fight in a while. Unfortunately, most of it is because... Goddamn Norris just missed three 82% shots in a row! Take off your... Fucking blindfold, you douchebag! I mean, I suppose that's the pos that's a possibility, but I would expect that the game would like actually show that a little better in the accuracy calculations if it's going to give you that information at all. I don't know, maybe I'm the crazy one here who is bad at video game design. I'm not a professional, so... You know, it's always a possibility. Anyway, we beat the fight. There were only a couple of... There were a couple of spots where I was worried. I shouldn't say only, because... I mean, technically that's true, but also... It's not useful to say that whatsoever. And we got the Red Relic.
Well, I mean, yeah, in this game, they show you in every instance, uh, whenever you attack, it shows you your accuracy. So, as part of basically allowing you to strategically weigh which attack level is best to use. So again, if they were going to give you an enemy with a high evasion chance, which is a fair thing to do, I would at least think that it would also show you what the chances are that you can, uh, that, you know, that would show the effect of the enemy having an improved dodge rate. That said, I, I've also heard that accuracy in this game, at least the PS1 original version, is bugged in some regard. Or evasion, rather. Did I say accuracy? Uh, yeah, that evasion is bugged in some regard, so I don't know. I mean, I guess so. I, I suppose? Like, it shouldn't... I don't need to see the entire math, just... I feel like if it's going to show the accuracy number there... Outside of, like, Pokemon, where it's based on moves, then again, I guess, yeah, that's... That's also a case where they don't show you the effects of evasion, and... Then again, the effects of evasion in Pokemon are absolutely zero if it's you, and absolutely perfect if it's the enemy. This world, right? We can go. Um, we can go to the other. Right, we can go to the other world, rather, and we can go to Shadow Forest from there. And bear, 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 where's? Right, I'm gonna Alt Tab for like 20 seconds here. And the, the screen is going to lock up for a bit. And because it just pauses when it's out of the thing. And I'm going to go check uh, getting to Gaius Naval here. Oh, okay, I see what I have to do. I have to go get back into a certain fight, but I will do that in a moment after I go check out Shadow Forest in this world. Because, yeah, you can see the ruined Viper Manor over there. Am I in the right place? And suddenly having a moment of, like, that doesn't look that... Doesn't look that severely fucked up. Oh no, this. Okay, so we are in the correct place. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Yeah, so for this, we want to go to the place where we found the aroma pouch, I believe. And there will be a guy that we can give that mushroom that we have in our inventory to. And I believe over here we can go and get into the the Biba fight in the the Hydra Marshes. And that is going to get us another item that we need to get into Gaius Naval. Although, hey, we are finally going to get to use the Biba flute for something. Oh yeah, that's just a capsule.
And we get into these random garbage fights here. Although they are pretty beefy for just being random garbage fights, all considered. Still not very impressive, although Fargo missing is 90% attack and hitting everything that's lower accuracy is funny. Attaboy, Fargo. You, uh, you go ahead and absolutely be a clown about this whole endeavor, right? Right. Excuse me. Wow, three eagle eyes. That's a lot. I don't think we need that many right now, but hey, wow. Oh, he's not impressed with our attempting to go into his treasure chest. You want this mushroom guy? I try putting it in the pot. What if I try facing it properly? I try talking to him. Hey, there we go. Sure. What a fun guy, yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, I really enjoys his mushrooms and... Maybe a little too much. What, do I have something on my face? Well, your face has gotten a lot flatter, that's for sure. Transformed into a mushroom man. Huh? No! I mean... None of us knew this was going to happen. Yeah, why don't you come with us? Eh, Fargo's making up stories for him, but alright. Stalk you through the depths of hell. Ah, okay, buddy. As we get a fun guy in our party. Fun guy is... not very impressive, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I mean, he's got accuracy and HP compared to Norris, but that's it, and he uses an axe, so... Eh. We found a Forest Charm. Forest Charm is the green version of all of those, uh, other things that prov I think Forest Charm just protects you from anti-green or something. Let's see what we can find here. Yeah, see, there, there's those, so that should be, indeed, protects from anti-green. Yeah, protection against anti-green. Big whoop. I don't think I've seen anti-green be cast once this entire game, so... That's not a huge issue for us. Ah, yes, a good turn for you, Fargo. Of course, I'm sure part of it is that I'm just, like, mashing through these fights like this, but yeah. Some of the elements in this game really feels like they thought about some kind of weird PvP. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Don't know for sure about that, though, but... I could probably dig into some of the interviews, because... Of course, a lot of things about this series have been very well documented, just in general. So, there might be some information related to that in some of said interviews. I'd have to go look, though.
AK Sativa, hello. We are getting a little bit close to ending stream pretty soon, so uh, just just to let you know about that, that I may not be on for a whole lot longer, but hello anyway. I think we gotta switch over to the other world in order to go deal with. Yeah, I'm gonna go switch to other. Uh, skipping through. All right. Well, hope you're doing well and everything. This is the side we need to go to in order to go get into this fight again in the Hydra Marshes. If not, we'll find out very soon. I see the goblins. I don't think this is going to be... Oh, there we go. Let's not that seem odd to you. Uh, let's try helping out. I mean, yeah, the Biba definitely doesn't look like those dudes, so... Hmm. And a little bit more lag. Huh, well that's... real helpful, everyone who's doing that documentation. Oh well, what can you do? Can't dance to it, etc. You're showing us either lying or the game just plain cheats. I could believe either of those, so. Hey, Biba. Biba, ancient fruit which grows in ancient ground. Alright, that's what we're looking for in order to go deal with Gaia's navel. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I thought we would actually have to get into a fight with those dudes. And yet, a fight we did not have to get into. But you know what? I think that's a good place for us to go ahead and save. And next time, we will take on the last two dragons. And I believe Surge will finally be getting his body back after that. We are pretty close to two-thirds of the... I think two-thirds, maybe more of the game done. Maybe even closer to three-quarters. Either way, it's... We've gotten pretty 